What is the flow state, and how can we think about it philosophically? The flow state, often referred to as being in the zone, is a mental state where a person is fully immersed and focused on an activity, experiencing a sense of energized focus and enjoyment. Philosophically, it aligns with concepts of mindfulness and the idea that true fulfillment arises from being present in the moment, transcending self-consciousness, and finding intrinsic value in the task at hand. It connects with existentialist ideas of authenticity as individuals in flow are fully engaged in meaningful activities often losing a sense of time and self when you're fully immersed in an activity and all that seems to matter is that activity everything else fades from your mind and you're clearly thinking and reacting as you would as your best self during an activity. The activity needs to have some degree of challenge, otherwise it would be boring. For example, I'm sitting here taking scene after scene after scene and just deleting them because I don't like them enough. So I'm only including my best ideas in the content that you're receiving. But I am on the task at hand, which is creating a video and exploring flow and the way that I achieve flow is through making videos. I used to achieve flow through writing books but I think videos have a lot more capabilities than mere text. I never understood writer's block. I've never had writer's block. For the most part, I always have something to say. It might just take a while to say it sometimes. I spend a lot of time just thinking about the videos that I could make. And... I'm not in a flow state when I'm thinking about these videos, but when I latch onto a video idea that I deem worthy of my channel, then I can begin the process of creating a video. And during that process, I'm generally in a flow state thinking about what I could say on camera and then releasing the highest quality content of that by recording it. There's a lot of different ways that you could achieve flow. You could be an athlete or a gamer or you could just be driving somewhere. Please do like the video. It, I don't know if it helps me out because I don't really see the results of more people watching if they like the video. So I don't really know if it's doing any good by you liking the video. 
writer's block is like the opposite of the flow state because with the flow state you always have information coming in and everything is processing optimally. This state feels very good to us. It is almost like a drug and many people try to achieve this in their lives to live more fulfilling lives. If you want to talk to me, join my Discord or you can always email me. The information is in the description. When I'm in this state, I tend to just sit here in my chair with the camera pointed at me and just think of what I could say. And then if I think of something good to say, then just start recording and see how it goes. And if it doesn't go well, just delete it and try again. Time tends to pass a lot faster when you are in this state. It kind of feels like you're one with what you're doing and you're just fully immersed in what you're doing and you know what to do next or you at least have ideas about what to do next. It's the most enjoyable time and after you finish it, life goes back to being boring and you just wait until the next time it happens. You can't force flow. If you try to force flow, you will likely fail. Flow has to come naturally, so you have to wait for that big idea to inspire you before it will unfold in your life. You can implement things in your life to encourage flow, but you can't force flow to happen. Hopefully, I encourage you to make videos so that you can experience what I'm talking about. If you want to experience flow, then I encourage you to make videos. Making videos doesn't require any physical exertion. So, it's quite simple. It just requires a little bit of bravery. Flow doesn't only come in meaningful situations. Flow is something that happens in all kind of situations where your body and your mind just know what to do and are ready to do it. One can attach meaning to their flow states, which I'm doing by recording and uploading publicly. It works out well for everyone because I get to have fun making a video and you get to receive a video. I hope you like my video. I always find a way to encourage you to make a vlog of your own. I'm not going to lie. YouTube is really challenging, but it is so fulfilling. Most days, Hardly anybody watches my videos. 
and the videos that I have done in the past always get forgotten and the only videos that remain active are the newer ones. That's a lot of work that is forgotten by YouTube. But it's okay, it's a little game. I'm trying to attract new viewers through my current content. And if I do that effectively, then they'll get pulled into my past content. So what I'm trying to do is hopefully attract new viewers that will go back and watch my old work. Usually a video has a lifespan of one or two weeks. And some videos don't really have a lifespan at all and get hardly any views. But flow is not about the result. It's about the experience that you went through to get that result. If you want to help me, then please recommend my channel to a pretty girl. Fewer distractions can encourage flow. Also, solitude can encourage flow. You just need the right information to sink your teeth into in order to get into that flow state. Your video productions should be really fun and you should do it because the journey and not the results. If I could only ever have a private diary, I would still video log my life like this. I would just not share it. But thanks to the internet, I can share my life. Sophia says to subscribe. She would be if I was making her lips say it. See, subscribe, subscribe. She said it, you saw it. Why does the flow state feel so good? And why do people want to obtain it? The flow state feels good because it involves a perfect balance of challenge and skill. When the challenge of an activity matches our skills, we enter a state of focused immersion and the brain releases neurochemicals like dopamine, serotonin, and endorphins. These chemicals contribute to a sense of pleasure, satisfaction, and heightened well-being. People seek the flow state because it brings a profound sense of fulfillment and happiness. It enhances performance, creativity, and learning. Additionally, being in flow often leads to a loss of self-consciousness and a feeling of timelessness, creating a deeply rewarding and immersive experience. This intrinsic motivation to achieve a state of flow drives individuals to engage in activities that provide the right balance between challenge and skill. Making videos is just one way that you can make flow happen in your life. And I highly recommend it. But there are many activities that you can dedicate yourself to 
that you will also obtain this state of flow. I appreciate your attention span. Until next time, this is Wendell signing off.